Recording in progress. Recording has happened, says the robot voice, which is the secret host of this podcast, which is... Always Strikes Last. Welcome, everybody. Oh my God. Yeah. Another I was worried I was on the wrong podcast. Oh. <laughs> uh, cold open never goes well, but it does happen. So, nice. Yeah. It uh, never, so. never always has to be striking late. Sometimes we're on time and we're just last. That's the appropriate time to be. It's, it's true. It's, it's true. There's I mean, a Charles on always strikes first. Sorry, that's not as no. Way. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that would be our nemesis podcast. I think if that oh, ever happened, yeah. like we just have to have constant, like, I don't know, work off each other clashes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Evil Rocco it. does that podcast. That's all. <laughs> yes. That's right. As he listens to his like cutthroat, you know, teaching game, wink, wink. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Rocco, the villain. Rock Club the baby seals. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no evil Rocco. We hugged them. We hugged them. <laughs> uh, Strangle it. I'm what? What? <clears throat> sorry. 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 That was... We're doing it. We're doing it well. Where'd that come as, from? Yeah. As everyone can probably tell, Matt's left us to go a bit rogue. So the yeah. podcast ship is not steering oh, itself good. as well as normal, but that's fine. He'll be back with us. Mm-hmm. Today, though, we have a somewhat focused and awesome agenda, and then we have a special guest here. In yep. the form of Michael Roush, who just came second in Nova after a Woo! truly epic Woo! run. Nice. So big congrats to him. But obviously, we want to have him on to talk about his journey, talk about like his like kind of identity as a player, what he's up to, what he likes, mm-hmm. and maybe like how he got to that cool like you know showdown, which uh you know was not too long ago now. It was it was it, Michael? Like last week about yeah. this time? Yep. Yeah, yeah, okay. pretty much. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, super exciting. So so maybe to preamble it slightly, for anybody who doesn't know, which would be really surprising, considering that this Ooh. is a competitive Age of Sigmar podcast generally, Nova yeah. is yeah. a giant con on the East Coast Huge. of the United States in D.C. Um, you get to brave the battlefield both in and outside of the hotel <laughs> based upon... <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's so in a fun. really nice part of D.C. <laughs> The bar next door. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. That's where all the players end up. They don't get back. <laughs> it is an issue, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes the players drop one way or another, but that's it's a separate, a separate <laughs> issue. <laughs> I actually do love the area. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I enjoyed myself immensely when I went last year. But this isn't about me. This is about this con and Michael's journey. And it's eight games of Age of Sigmar. Uh, one of those newer, grueling formats which, which, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, Michael, it's sort of like a, a bit of a marathon, right? It's like a five round GT followed by a bracket breakout across three days. Mm-hmm. Uh, that would be exactly correct, but some would say that's not enough games. Uh, Ooh, James O'Brien, you know, stop. <laughs> Make stop. it 11 games. Don't stop. More games. I, I would love more games. Just the, the time, life, you know, impingement. Like, I mean, if, if I was to try to go to an 11 game tournament, across like four days uh i don't know, better be like my birthday or something <laughs> several birthdays <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like save that but yeah let's 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 launch right into it so we kind of know how it ended we didn't bury the lead too much but yeah michael tell us uh, tell us about your journey with this let's uh first start with you as an intro an intro for you as a player like kind of who are you where you're from you know like kind of what got you into scene and then uh, talk to us a bit about your lead up to this tournament <laughs> um well from just outside of Toledo, Ohio. So not exactly real local to the DC area, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, I actually got started when I was 16. A pair of friends introduced me to the game, starting in their basement, as all good Warhammer players start. Oh, yeah. um, of course, of course. Yeah. And uh, the, the greatest thing is like they introduce me to the game, they teach me the rules, and you're like, I'm going to go pick up my own stuff. I have no clue what I'm doing. Never built models before. So it's all like brand new to me. Mm-hmm. So I ended up taking wood glue and gluing some of these old chaos warrior kit like the like little brick ones together oh no i take them over to their place i try to play them they just start falling apart in front of them because i had no clue what i was doing but we still had you know a great time and then uh so after a little little bit of hiccups of trying to learn how to paint because that's you know something (laughs) i've never been able to do uh started picking up tournament gaming um Mm -hmm. the first one i ever did was at the michigan gt for a two-day event shout Uh, out michigan yeah, which is actually coming up here in uh, two weeks. Yeah, it's kind of my nice. four-year anniversary of starting tournament gaming, which is super cool. That's awesome. Yeah, oh, fantastic. 
And I definitely can uh, sympathize with like that moment of like you just have models and you're like, yeah, this will work. Let me get some Elmers on that, <laughs> you know, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yep. yep. We all have that phase. Mm-hmm. I refuse to repaint those old models because they look absolutely atrocious, and I yep. need to be reminded of where I started. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Once they're done, they're done. Testament. You can't. That's it, right? That was yeah. a revelation that like. Matt, the Davidson imposter over here, uh, you know, Miles and I had years ago where we used to get hung up and like trying to make models beautiful. And then we just like had this year of like just staring each other down and say, no, just clear them off the bucket list. Like get them on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Bad red hat doesn't need highlighting. You know, that splotchy paint job, no one will ever see it. Yep. Exactly. It's, it's done. It's done. Give me the it's five done. foot rule, man. Absolutely. <laughs> Perfect. Oh. Well, very cool. So yeah, you've been you've been playing for a bit then. I, I recall, I think it was um last year, like you and I played once, or right? it wasn't at Nova, like we ran into it each other. It was, yeah, it was yeah. at Nova when we ran into each other. So, such a fun time. Uh, you're definitely gonna be bruising that time with the OBR, uh, which was mm-hmm. a, a thoroughly great great game. But <laughs> it was also like, oh yeah, <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I got to drop in on that one. Uh, oh. And and I I think I think you were telling me like at the times like you come in and you played even in like some. I guess it was like tournament winners, like mini tournament the day before. I think Anthony was doing that too. Oh, yeah. The invitational. Yeah. yeah. Invitational the day before. Yeah. 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 So you've been a tear around the scene for a little bit. We can't downplay that. I, th- I think you've been, you've been cleaning up some tournaments before Nova, right? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't clean up at Nova, but uh, this was my second time going. So it b- better showing this year than I did last year. That's Good. Nice. Good. I mean, <laughs> Second place, it's pretty hard. To, not yeah, out of yeah, 170 showing. something people. Yeah, <laughs> no, you did, you, you yeah. did it. What 174 people are jealous of you? <laughs> <laughs> and listen, yeah. Caleb just terrorizes the he's a local to here anyway in Maryland to DC and he runs around. Uh, that's we, we we play for second place, so congratulations on your first place win. You did great, <laughs> all things considered. Ignore him, he does his own thing. We're proud of you, Michael. Uh, but I'm curious, man. So what list did you take? Tell me about it. Give me some specifics yeah. here. All right. Well, uh, I was running Ossiark Bone Reapers again. Um, okay. But it was not the same that I've been running recently. Um, it was a list being helmed by Catacrypts, because that man is an absolute terror on the battlefield. Yes. Um, giving plus one save to three units, I hear pretty good when you start on three up saves. Yep. Um, and it's just 18-inch bubbles of wards and command point denial. Uh, also had a Leash Cavalos just to take like all my command traits and stuff. My mm-hmm. Super Charge. Sure, sure. sure. Great. Um, then I had Vok Mortian, who's got like a mini Bellacor ability once per game. He just looks yeah. at you and he's like, oh, do you want to move? It's going to cost you a command point. Oh, do you also want to charge? It's going to cost you a command point. Like, he's just a little tax man. Just making Love you that. pay for your <laughs> sins. Um, and time. then I got... Yeah. Real DC energy right there. Yes, yes. The whole IRS yeah. is proud of you. <laughs> hey, that's literally the entire army. The army is the IRS. You better yeah. pay your bone tax. Oh my um, god. Then I have a squad of ten Death Riders, four more Gas Archai, mm-hmm. and three more Discard. Nice. So pretty low model count, but super elite and hard to get off the table. Yeah, who needs a screen? Uh, yeah, the screen is catacrypts. Nobody fights that man. That the screen is a hard true. stare from the K man. It totally makes sense. It's it's, it's just because it's not worth it, you know. Like, no, it's not. <laughs> as, as, you know, joking aside, sometimes you really don't need a screen. It's it's true. Ugh. The number of times people have thought they could just sneak into him and that would do anything at all, like early mm-hmm. on. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, not. yeah. He definitely has that like Xerxes the second energy. <laughs> For sure. It's it's too powerful. The sinister stare. He has a power stance and his rock moves towards you. Yeah. Absolutely. When it it comes down to it, his screen is his cod piece, really. (laughs) (laughs) We've seen that model, right? His cod piece is his screen. Like yes. I, I'm pretty sure it's built deeply into the lore with the OBRs that the cod pieces are just like the worst performers of the last generation of bone type dead from the reclaimed. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they fight so hard. No one wants that job. <laughs> I'm I'm with Rocco on this though. You know, like uh, not every army does need a screen. I prefer the screen to be my teeth right before they're punched in. Right. Mm, so like yeah. there's yeah. a there's there's a lot of there's I, I dig it. I dig it. 
Oh yeah. Catacros, but... man. Catacros is miles right. Miles right. It it like you really have to really want to kill him and be poised to kill him. Thing done. It's, it's right? true. Like oh. you gotta put so much effort. So uh, the the big annoying man takes it. Big mowing man takes it as I divert everybody on the wrong thing. Why am I here? Because I no, came no in. No worries. The of the <laughs> Someone get the salt. Matt's disembodied head's floating around. I know. Well, you just been given a, a break by Marty Someone the dog the from the trials and travails. <laughs> the the only reason I wanted to step in so hard is because we've kind of got a tradition going now, and I can't believe that Rocco. Uh, you know, missed it, and that was. I know he dropped the ball what, on it. I was waiting. What was your tournament prep, Michael? Yep, exactly. What's the <laughs> ritual before your first game? What's your ritual? What's going on here? I, I did not get to commit any sort of tournament prep for uh, this event whatsoever. Um, so I had my flight scheduled at okay. nine forty the night before. Okay. As we're going to boarding, my flight gets canceled. Ooh. So. Uh, there was no tournament prep. Uh, oh, wow. The tournament prep was me starting the drive down at 11 o'clock from Detroit to Washington, D.C. Uh, and oh, that was it. Wow. Okay. Okay. So wait a sec. We have a pause on this one, Michael. So uh-huh. you were like uh-huh. red eyed into this tournament. Like, th- did you sleep? How, when did you get in? How long uh, is that drive so for you? For- I, so <laughs> from when I was able to leave, I had to call the person who dropped me off be like, hey, I need you actually to take me back to my place. So I had to wait at least a half an hour for them to turn around, get an hour back to my place, and then start mm-hmm. about a seven-ish hour drive while mm-hmm. repacking everything into my car. Mm-hmm. So all in all, the drive probably took me close to nine hours while it was probably closer to an eight-hour drive. Okay. I took a 45-minute power nap because I couldn't see the road very well. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. Safety. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Safety yeah, is important. Yeah. Yep. While sleeping, uh, some guy actually comes up and pulls into the front of my car, denting it. So I had to exchange a little bit, you know, information to get my car uh-huh. fixed later. And mm-hmm. then by the time I arrived, it was probably close to like 830, an hour before the event started. And I had models I had to give to Basil and Bart Kennelly. So I don't know if you know either of them. Yep, uh, yep, but I had yep. models to bring them. So I started to like hand out models. And by the well, time tough there, crowd action. Yep, yep. Yep, mm-hmm. yep. So I already had to like start switching out models with people. And then I'm like, well, I'm already up. Going to sleep for 15 minutes ain't going to help. So I just no. walked right into the first game. All right, wow. so you had a light Midwestern commute. That's what that's what yeah, I'm hearing. Yeah, okay. standard Midwest commute. Yeah, yep. that uh, is. I gotta <laughs> say, like this, this is definitely the opposite of like the calm and control the situation. Like, have your coffee from a certain place with exactly one flavor. <laughs> kind of like neuroses we're used to here. So this is mad yeah. <laughs> props mm-hmm. to you before we even get into anything. So okay, so this is possibly like the worst setup. For like just mentally oh, yeah. and, and and for your body for a big event to this eight games long. So I mean, this is already really interesting. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna start. <laughs> I'm gonna flip this on its head and go. The Catacross train has no brakes in this instance, and <laughs> you you came in swinging. And uh, and from the story you're going to tell, I imagine that the competition is going to be boned. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my uh, god, that's. You know, you love you love to hear it, Matt. This is why you Matt gets paid it. the big bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Stoker's going to be front and center because he mixes the audio too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, so that that sounds like a hell of a um, you know a, a, a way to start out. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. How how'd you go into it after that? Like, um, tell us about your games. Tell us uh, any. That like that sounds like the first like big, huh? but <laughs> yeah, um, you know what what happened afterwards? So yeah. game one, yeah, you're here. Fifteen game, minutes game, after the game blast. one, so I've been up for you know twenty nine hours or whatever it is at this point. Um, go into it, meet this really nice dude playing Seraphon on a mission I know I'm not good into because uh, I read the pack and like all right if I can get through the first three games, my missions get way easier for the remaining five. So I'll I'll bank on that. Nice. Um, I end up during my turn four out of, I believe, just sheer sleep deprivation, uh, completely mistotaling my score. So I completely misplay my turn five and lose by, I don't know, it's like four points or whatever. Um, so there was a strong start there. The dude earned his win 100%. Um, 
really nice dude playing like 12 Agrodon, Seraphon, with these little dart pipe hunters of Huanchi that just kept shooting me in the face, making me charge only 1d6. Very annoying. Oh, that's um, fine. But yeah, I start by losing my first game, and we have lunch immediately after that. I don't eat. I immediately just pass down on the table about 15 after he walks away, and I almost sleep till my second round. So we had nice. to do a little, little bit of catch up between the first <laughs> and the second game. But probably uh, the right strategic decision, like a whole like <laughs> hour of nap or whatever. <laughs> Something like that. You need uh, a power nap. You got I, it. I needed everything I could get. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, after that, went into my round two. Oh, I don't even remember if I played in round two now. Um, it was a know, fever dream. No, I do. It was uh, a nice man playing Archeon. Archeon and like 60 Chaos Warriors. And okay. he had oh, goal. that's fun. That's okay. fun. Nice goal. He was going to walk forward with Archeon. Sit Matt Catacros and try to just one shot him, which okay. I respect it. You know, very respectable play. Walk up, put him in the sword, and have a call it a day. Yeah, um, that's roll two sixes. Uh, he he did walk forward, and then uh, my command trait, which makes him minus two to charge, uh, kicked off. He rolled a five, so it failed because I redeployed back. Good. And then uh, when he went to re-roll it, Catacros has a little five up spy master. He yoinked the yeah. command point. Yeah. So he sat outside five inches from me, going Ooh. into my turn. And uh, I proceeded to walk forward and she to just lift arc. Yeah. So, nice. You know, that's, that's pretty what happens cool. When you don't respect the cod piece, man. Yeah. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Just hanging out, just doing its thing. <laughs> Big cod piece energy here. <laughs> For sure. That's, that's so funny. I just, <laughs> the narrative player in Rocco, which is Rocco's essence from last episode. If anyone who listened to that, you know, it says <laughs> Chef's Kiss. <laughs> so how many warriors was that? Um uh, do you think looking at the list? I don't have it in front of me right now. Did you say sixty, Michael? I think, it, I think it was sixty, a chariot and uh, yeah. I think that was just it. Okay. Yeah, something so Maybe, might have been fifty. Might have been fifty. All right, no chosen, no Varen guard. Nope. nope. He had one oh. goal. <laughs> it was to get Archeon in there. Yeah, it was. Got, got to be all it. Nurgle. I mean, I imagine that could have yeah. worked better if it was like, yes, park all the Chaos Warriors and the objectives and then yeah, terrorize Archeon. Yeah. Oh, there's there's a strat there. I get it. I, I see the I see the vision, but at the same yeah. time, big cod piece energy. All right. Yeah, big cod piece energy. All right. Catacros, hats off to you. Yeah. Well, um, he's got a place to put the hat for sure. Um, <laughs> quick, 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 as, quick aside, quick Wonderful. aside, um, and this before you get into game three, because I know this is this uh-huh. is this a good moment. Do you feel like the fact that the Washington Monument is essentially your terrain piece, but just larger, looming <laughs> yeah. over this whole battlefield, helped at all? Uh, I would say yes because I elected not to bring my terrain piece, so it's the terrain piece in my. <laughs> Did heart. you really? All right, well, hold. Okay, we got a pause break here. What so that's, for for people listening? Because it's a charge target, right? Um, it's because it doesn't do anything. But yeah, <laughs> fair, okay, fair, yeah, fair what, enough. What does it do? These because again, OBR has gone through a big change from third to fourth. Michael, why? why what does that? What, what does this terrain piece even do these All days? Right. Like in my hero phase, uh-huh. if I can roll a four plus, uh-huh. I can pick between one of four effects. We're already on a rough start. Okay. We have to roll okay. a four plus yep. in my turn. Yep, so it means yep, yep. it doesn't work 90% of the time. Correct. But on the 10% of the time that it does work, mm-hmm. it's got some decent effects. It's got minus one to hit, minus one to cast. Okay. Uh, you got minus a D6 to charge, which is rather impactful. You can't yep. run. Yep. And then mm-hmm. uh, D3 mortal wounds. However, my opponent can just charge it and get three battle tactics off it. So I tend yeah. not to pick that one because yeah. it just gives them something to do. It makes sense. It's a giant now, footprint. Yeah. For the, we'll for the newer that. listeners, what's uh-huh. that battle tactic that you get off of that? Uh, so you can get fight with two units if you charge my terrain piece. You sure. can do take their land by mm-hmm. charging my terrain piece and not yeah. killing it. Yeah. Uh, and you can also use just slingshot into my units. The third tactic is probably like a take the flanks where you're trying to use it to slingshot yourself by charging my terrain piece to oh, extend sure. your line to the sure, end of the sure, table. Sure. So it gives you a minimum of guaranteed two and an option for three or four more. Mm-hmm. Just by existing, it might even um, give you that weird destruction one that's really difficult, depending on where you place it. The sure, uh, 
I you can yeah. seize the center on that thing mm-hmm. if you stick it close enough in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. It's true. That's very true. All right. That's actually a solid teachable moment for everyone out there. Just like I've, I've definitely seen uh, even Seraphon players not take that thing because, because again, it's yeah. a charge target. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, Nurgle, for the same reason, you don't take the trees. I, yes. attempted uh, to bring the I, I disagree on the tree, especially hey, if you're uh, taking the slug man. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, depends right. on what you're there, doing with them. There's right? a build. There's a build. Yeah, there, there's yeah. a build that I'm slowly assembling with the slug man for the trees for that reason. So yeah, I, I mm. 100% agree. But the trees don't have cod pieces. So how'd that, <laughs> how'd that next game go? They're just good uh, wood, baby. They're just good wood. <laughs> That's I mean, too they're funny. bad wood. They're, they're the <laughs> oh, they're the, a little bit. they're the wood that ends you up in a clinic. I think right. Oh man, I'm taking these if jokes it lasts too more deep. Than a few hours. Oh, I'm so going. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, well, okay, okay. On, okay. On Be gone, Matt's so- disembodied head. <laughs> yeah, I Off know. Off I go. On that positive yet unsettling note, let's move into game three <laughs> and figure out how this next opponent may or may not have been boned. <laughs> I mean, that was uh, 10 well, dick jokes right there. I think we're doing pretty good. Was, I, I mean, there, there's got to be a bone counter right at the end of yeah. this. You yeah. Just count yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh... We'll put it on the YouTube uh, video and it'll be up in the top. It's like, remember that one from yeah. South Park where they every time they say the word shit, it, it ticks yeah. up one? Yeah. yeah. I mean, normally a set of 10 or a 10 based thing is like a decimation, right? Is it a decimation or decimation? <laughs> what have we done here? <laughs> Moving uh, on. All right. Game, game three. Yes. Uh, game three, I got to play a nice gentleman playing uh, the infamous Lumineth Realm Wars, mm-hmm. everyone's mm-hmm. currently oh, favorite army. I've heard of him. Yeah. Best detergent uh, in all of Age of Sigmar. Keep those yeah, right. yeah. Sparkling Get a few yeah. ruse, get a few foxes. Yeah, it wasn't foxes for this time around, but uh, oh. it was 20 Sentinels, okay. 10 Dawn Riders, mm-hmm. uh, uh-huh. standard hero package, and some Wardens. Okay. Um, and we ended up just doing a nice little game of face off the entire time. Uh, my Morgas would look at his Death Riders. His Death Riders look at my Morgas mm-hmm. from 20 inches away, and we wouldn't mm-hmm. do anything. And yeah. that was totally cool with me. You, know, you mean his Dawn Riders? You mean his Dawn Riders, right, Michael? Yeah, Dawn Riders. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So just uh, the little horse cab and my Morgas just yeah. a little, little face off. We just look sure. at each other. And uh, I was up on scores. So I'm like, I can live with this. I will look at you while mm-hmm. I'm winning. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, so that's what we did for about four turns was just looking at each other with, you know, nice. a dream in our eyes, um, <laughs> until eventually we, we committed and, uh, committed to killing, you know, most of his army, except for like 10 Dons, which works okay. out, I guess. And that's a little uh, appropriate. There were short stories about yeah, this. There was stories, uh, about how Nagash cheated to beat up Nagash with four Luminarchs from Cities of Sigmar, not respecting yeah. 1v1 because yep. they're filthy mm-hmm. elves. You got damn right. Well, right there. Uh, so you, you you kept it tight. You got the points advantage, and you held mm-hmm. it, and then you destroyed them anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's what you're supposed to do. Is what I hear. Absolutely, absolutely. All uh, right. So here so we yeah, are. Yes. So this is day one. You got three yep. games in. Yep, three games. Day one. Uh, picking off from my my long journey, but we got past all the hard missions. Okay. That's all the six nice. objectives are done. Yeah. So I like mm-hmm. to be on those like those five or four missions. So mm-hmm. I can just, you know, keep all my stuff together. So yeah, you only have into, five units, and two of them are heroes. Uh, I or have four? three heroes and three units. Three, okay, three heroes. Three. I, heroes. Yeah. Okay. I, I will okay. say I was reading that list of yours, uh, Michael, and it was extremely stress-inducing as someone who likes to have little pieces floating around. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, I, I missed out having just like a little cheap unit. Like if I could have one more squad of five Death Riders, it would have been golden. Yeah, oh, yeah, didn't. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Take the flanks is never an option. Oh, <laughs> right. uh, uh, yes. Let me take the flanks with my two 500 point units. Yes, this seems like a great idea. And sometimes yeah. I had to do that, and it felt bad. Yeah. Uh. Uh, but yeah. yeah, so that was day one. So okay. going into the end of day one, I got to hang out with some friends. We went out drinking a little bit and mm-hmm. probably stayed out way too late for what I should have. Um, yeah. Eventually Working on one hour of sleep, uh, yeah, hour 15, because yep. you, 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 like you took a nap, took a yeah, nap in the yeah, car. A couple yep. power naps. So uh, we went, we hit the hotel hard that night, right afterwards, slept in, got up, bright eyed next morning, fell mm-hmm. in fine uh, to play a nice gentleman with Stormcast who had no chance, uh, just list on list. 
He had mm-hmm. six Raptors, and that's the only thing that I feared. But he had a really nice painted up Krondus. Did okay. some really cool conversions for Night Helms. Um, okay. But uh, he brought his Krondus up into the middle of the court, and uh, oh, no. said hi. Oh no! Very friendly. Oh, wow. As they do. So did he at least don't have know, Raiders? Uh, he did. <laughs> did they? Okay. They were there. Oh. Uh, it did not change what happened. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> They, they could so, not stop the tidal wave of so our guys. The 5 up board yeah. is very good, but uh, Ossiaric Bone Reapers have a very unique endless spell, which I brought the spell lore of the Ossiaric Bone Reapers, not more oh. operation. Mm-hmm. The Bone Tie Shrieker has a 12 inch aura of that minus one shrieker. to your ward save. So that 5 up ward is now a 6. Mm-hmm. And uh, a 6 up ward does not save you from Ren 3. No. Because um, Morgas are base Ren 2. Spell. And they go to Ren 3 against monsters. And if I really want something to die in their spell lore, they have a spell called Drain Vitality, which subtracts one from your saves. So you can be yep. a Ren 4 against monsters. And they are just being deleted mm-hmm. on a whim. I've had some serious jealousy over those spells. I often wish I had them <laughs> <laughs> in yeah. other armies. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, the Osiris spell lore, pretty good. Not, uh, yeah. not upset at all. But yeah, so I... Uh, I pushed four more guests into Catacross into into Krondis, okay. and uh, he died over two turns of combat. I didn't get him quite in the first, mm-hmm. uh, so he retreated. And then in my turn, I finished hunting him down and killed him. Good, as uh, as one does. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, uh, he was again really nice guy, um, but he just wasn't. Uh, he didn't have the gas to be able to take out what my list was was doing. Um, mm. So it's just kind of a, a poor matchup for him, which is okay. Uh, those happen sometimes, but you know, you yeah. good on him, good on you guys, having a fun game mm-hmm. of it. You know, sounds like an epic showdown, even though the, the dragon heralded a closer step towards extinction for that old race. <laughs> <laughs> there, yeah. player rocket once again nodding. Yes, very. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Listen, man. Sometimes you got to break a bunch of dragon eggs to make an omelet. All right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, we've never go. had dragon bones before. You just got to figure yeah. out how, how what's the size. Uh, preference of the dragon. You gotta it's get some marrow. All right. <laughs> There's gonna be like a Kragnos cookbook joke in there somewhere, but too lazy. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, okay, so that's four games down, and here you are, three and one at this point, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Um, and you're on to game five. Yep. Um, so currently I'm sitting at the top of the three and one bracket. There's like one or two other yeah. people that are right above me. So I'm actually in contention for top eight, mm-hmm. uh, cause there's nice. going to be five and five no's and there's going to be three, four, one spots. So it's, gotcha. so after my first loss, I mentally checked out. I'm like, all right, I don't have to worry about top eight. I could just, you know, kind of worry about it later. Yeah. And then a buddy of mine, Joe Cryer said after round one, he's like, Hey, Oh, Joe Cryer. He's going to be. Four or three people that are four and one that can still get that top eight, so it still matters. I'm like crap, so I can't just take it easy. So I have to be pushing for big wins. Mm-hmm. Um, and I get to run into Roger Barker, who's an absolutely lovely human being. Uh, oh wait, and Michael, season. real quick too, was this point yeah. differential? It was uh, James O'Brien. You criminal! <laughs> oh yeah, there was so the win hardest win. version of yes. everything. Yes, I am forced <laughs> to punish my opponents. Otherwise, that Stormcast game is a way more laid back, but it's points differential. So I am trying to table you as soon as I can to stop yeah. you from as many points as I can. That and and, and as a too. sort of slight continuation to Rocco's aside with the dead additional aside, this is such an interesting <laughs> psychological place to be because mm. winning big is tough in any game when like you have to salt the earth and it can be yep. more extreme <laughs> as a result. Yes. yes. Um... So yeah, round five, I run into Roger Barker, who I had played once before. Okay. Um, and he was playing 40 Graveguard, 10 Black Knights, and like, I don't know, 20 Wolves, something like that. Just a crap mm-hmm. ton of bodies. Mm-hmm. Um, and he plays a super tight game. We're able to get down there. Um, and I luckily win that turn one to two prior, so I can avoid his Graveguard hitting me. So I'm able to just lift a lot of things, which is able okay. to let me get a big enough of a win. Um, after playing him again, and I would love to play him again. He's just a great dude. Uh, but I was able to win big enough that I'm able to make the top eight. I'm the highest 4-1 placing player. Um, nice. Which leaves us with one there more game, go. but I can guaranteed no longer fall below eighth. Okay. So which is already a huge place. thing. 
Right. So yeah. I'm already solidified my spot top eight. Mm-hmm. And then I get to face the boogeyman uh, in, in round six of Nighthawk, Hex Rates. All 30 of them uh, with some This is guys still Saturday? Yep, still mm-hmm. Saturday. Three still games Saturday. back yeah. to back. So it's not even like it was a GT and then they're like, cool, we're going to run an RTT afterwards to do this breakout Absolutely and do everything. Not. This Absolutely is just not. James O'Brien, you villain, who I love. By the way. He's a great, he's a, he, I <laughs> love great him so human much. Being. Great human being. He does great work with BCP with Garrett. I run into him uh, at least like once or twice a tournament just to hang out. And then we, we joke because I've been doing more like narrative, funner stuff. He's like, ah, you've gone soft again, huh? And I'm like, oh, yeah, you be being hard as shit. He's like, yeah. And we just walk <laughs> off and have a good time. But, <laughs> ah, okay. So, yeah. game six, no breaks. We've barely had mm. sleep. We, I don't think we've eaten food. We've just had beer. Have we even made five <laughs> friends? Oh, that's, we've that's definitely a, made five friends. That's your tough crowd good. motto. Five games, five friends. After that, Absolutely. you just go hard as shit and tell people to fuck off, right? Game uh, six. The, the, <laughs> like, what happened here? Talk to Game seven, there's no more <laughs> friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I, I got to actually play a very friendly competition that I got to play with this gentleman back at LVO. We didn't play at LVO. But every time we're at the same event, we always have this competition of who gets to be the best mic. Gotcha. Um, and this oh, person nice. I'm playing was I Mike McAbee. I love that style of competition. Oh, so Mike, Mac- oh Mike McAbee. So it, it was personal <laughs> on fighting okay. who's going to place for top mic. So this game has a lot Ooh. more than just top eight on the line. He's currently Ooh. five and oh, and I'm currently four and one. Yeah. We're playing for best mic. That's what's really going on here. Game um, six, best mic on the line. Pretty much. There's no other mics in the top eight. So this was this was for all the marbles. That's uh-huh. what this really was for. Oh, um, man. He's played a lot of Soul Blood. I remember playing some of Mike Soul Blood before. Real fun time with that. So wait, and you ran into he's, he's another Soul Blight. Okay. So no, you he's playing Nighthawk. He's playing oh, I'm sorry. Nighthawk Nighthawk he's playing. Okay, yeah. okay. I don't know. Man, yeah. mixing up my ghoulies and ghosties. No, never mind. He's, he's played lots of Nighthawk. Uh, so he's running, yeah, 30 tax race and played guys with a couple of heroes. Okay. Um, I ro- win the roll off. Very critical moment. I make him go first. He has to come forward a little bit. I have the hope of mm-hmm. reaching him because he's not yep. going to full send into my army. I'm luckily enough bust a 12 inch charge with the squad of Death Riders to charge his only wizard. I kill Ooh. him top of one. Kill was it Reichnor? Yeah. Yes, it was. And he's gone. Yeah. He's the I love one. killing that bastard. That's Dude. the one you want to kill. <laughs> oh my he's God. On. He's off the table. I'm living the dream. We're starting strong. Okay. Okay. Can I make a dumb joke? Sounds like Absolutely. things were looking grim until he was. <laughs> 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 See, okay. Matt, you're not the only one who can Jack, do it. you're a ghast. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm on the uh, I'm on the uh, 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 7 a.m. Um, um, delirium train. So some some somebody else can pick up the uh, the the dad joke monic- moniker for right now. <laughs> so you, you get you you take it for now, Jack. Although no, I do I'll wave, I'll wave that up. banner high. My, my toddler got me up at an unseemly pre eight a.m. hour too. So, <laughs> <laughs> I don't have kids, so I slept in. It was great. Oh, uh, me too. Same. <laughs> hey. <laughs> uh, oh, but okay. Uh, so, so you got Reikinor. You lifted him. Yeah, so lifted Reikinor. Great. Oh man, no wizards. And then, uh, oh jeez. <laughs> I also. I'm able to take four more gas and lift 15 blade geists in that very oh. same turn. So I'm nice. uh, I'm coming in Ooh, okay. swinging. Did your endless uh, spell really help with uh, any other ward shenanigans? Or it does... did. I was it helped me get no wards on the blade geist whatsoever. So I just got to go oh, in nice. free of free of charge. Nice. Okay. Okay. Just rolling four ups on three damage attacks. Hope you roll hot. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, I proceed to get the double. I'm mm-hmm. like, well. I can kill a lot of ghosts. Yeah. And I can try to assassinate his uh, foot hero who was able to return a half unit. So I'm like, okay. We go in for the assassination. We fail. We leave the guy alive with like three wounds. My death riders weren't able to quite kill enough. I throw Catacross in. Mm-hmm. He's able to lift some horses. Mm-hmm. And uh, instead of trying to finish off the blade guy, since he still has his artifact, I just p- pile in and start punching other horses. So I just kind of like smart. ignore them, ignore them and let them stay at minimum size units. Yep. Into his turn, he's able to retreat. He's able to try and go from take one of my back objectives. Uh, and he manages to leave two Death Riders alive who managed to actually kick his remaining hero to death <laughs> on the back of the horse's <laughs> hooves to finish <laughs> them off. Oh, man. So I've taken away all of his heroes. I've taken away all his recursions. It's all done. Yeah. 
Mount so is the just, best thing in Warhammer. Now it's just fighting horses with Catacros and Morghast. Well, and Morgast were these Black made, Knights or were these Blood Knights? These were Hex Rates. Yeah, oh, Hex Rates, Steve. Oh, see, yeah, now, that's right. Yeah. Now you got Ghosties. me thinking of Ghosties. Ron, Ron Ghosty Gass. horses. Ghosty horses. Oh, it. my goodness. <laughs> so the, uh, the, act, the full horror that mm-hmm. is the Hex Wraith meta. Yep. Just there for Full you. on. Right in my face. All there. Mm. So uh, we're able then to start scrapping. He's scoring tactics like it's nobody's business, but I'm standing on all of the circles that I think that matter. We just kind of yeah. scrim out until around turn four where we at match it out that he, yeah. he can't win. I'm holding his home. I'm holding the middle. Okay. I'm able to get a, a decently sized win by, I don't know, it was like maybe eight points or so. So it's a, oh, a wow. small win, but a win nonetheless uh, yep. against Nighthawk. Turns out we don't get 50% of a unit back. It's pretty... Pretty helpful to win games. Yeah, yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. And when you so, don't get your ward either, it's so a uh-huh. huge, huge end to day two, right? So yep. you're you're sitting pretty, and and just to make sure it's clear for everyone who's listening, because I think these eight round tournaments get kind of funky. So did James set it up so that on the final bracket for top eight is it like pairs elimination? So mm-hmm. does it rank again like within the top eight bracket like the others, or is it like? So- so if the the original pairing for that first round, mm-hmm. they did top to bottom. So if you're in first and you're in eighth, you played. If you're in second, you're in seventh, you played. So they kind of did that inverse pairing. Mm-hmm. And okay. then after that, so it was so just like random. a single elimination bracket. Yes. So it was like a single elimination bracket. However, going okay. into round two, we paired randomly. So okay. I had to look between three lists the night before and prep to play basically two of them. If I'm okay. assuming I win my next game. Mm-hmm. The three sure. people I get to look forward to playing are Gavin Grigar. Great person mm-hmm. with trolls. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. about like 50 squigs. That is Tom text. Guan. Okay. So he's got all the 30 uh, wind chargers and like three foxes. Yep. Oh, and nice. then Caleb Walters playing Zeech, uh, a bunch of horrors and a bunch of sky fires. Mm-hmm. These are the players yep. I get to look forward to playing guaranteed in my next round. <laughs> so we already got a, a hell of a competition there. Mm-hmm. So I show up playing Jaws of Galette. It's the five objective mission where they disappear. Yep. They get paired into Tom Guan. So we we know... Uh, he's, he's got he's speed kinda, in his list. That's... He's kind of okay at Warhammer. Kind of. Um, a little bit. Guy, he's played know. a game or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's been around the block. <laughs> Once um, or twice. And we have one of the tightest games of Warhammer. Where I'm just clenching my butt cheeks all game, just trying to make things work. Um, and... I, I start by undercutting the scores so I can burn objectives. His advantage is that there's five. I need to reduce them. I'm unable to burn any turn one, but turn two, I start burning them. We get okay. down to the score where in the final turn, I stop him from countercharging to deny a tactic of mine. So I am scoring. I'm up by five at this point, and he needs to score a six-point turn. So he needs mm. to hold a tactic and hold an objective to tie, or he needs to hold both to win. Is kind of the, the game state we're in. Mm-hmm. Okay. So okay. he makes his tactic. He's going to fight with two units. I have more gas strung between the last two objectives, so I'm contesting both of them. Mm-hmm. And Catacross is kind of in the middle one in case he's going to do a seize the center. Sure. He charges in on the top point objective, and I'm like, well, I got uh, three command points left, and I got nothing better to spend them on. We're going to go for a counter charge with Catacross. I need to roll. Hell yeah. I need a nine inch charge, so I need to roll an eight on the dice. I busted a nine as a ten inch charge. Catacross moves in. Straight into some wind chargers. We visit to start doing that scrum out. Again, he mm-hmm. needs to hold just the one objective and his tactic and you win. So I have to not kill either of his units. I manage with three more guests to lift six horses of his wind charger unit. I had already killed one, so there's only three left. Mm-hmm. Catacurus piles in, finishes off the unit. He's now standing on no objectives. I've denied his battle tactic, so I win nice. by five. Nice. To finish out the game. Amazing. Wow. So I'm having a nail-biter game against Tom Blonde. I'm holding on by the skin of my teeth. I've now made it to the final game. I'm already guaranteed now second at this time uh, as I'm getting compared to Caleb Walters, who I've never played before, but I know is a really, really skilled player. Well, you got oh. paired into Caleb. In the final round. There's only two people in the top eight. Oh. Undefeated in top eight. Yeah. So I'm forcibly paired into Caleb. No options, no decisions. Mm-hmm. They're, they're each other's final bosses, and it definitely mm-hmm. hats off to you, to you out of Tom, for that game you just had. Sounds really fun, real nail biting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, had a had a great one with Tom. So going into the final game, I decided I'm going to take an early point lead. So I'm, if I can box him out of these points, mm-hmm. we're playing. What's the battle you know, plan? What's the battle plan? <clears throat> battle for the paths. 
So there's Ooh. two objectives in the middle, one objective in your home, one objective in their home. Yours is one, middle mm -hmm. two, and your opponent's is five, I believe. Yeah, that sounds nice. right. And I, I was... start... Mm -hmm. oh, continue. continue, Mike. I was just curious what no. Caleb was running. I mean, was each so crazy. Yes. Uh, <laughs> was... He was running, I believe it was 20 blues, yep. uh, 20 pinks, two chickens, yep. and then two squads of Skyfires. Yeah, Ooh, shooting cool. one, kitchen, one chicken was Kairos, the other one was the regular one that he put yep. the minus one to hit aura on and gave yep. him the book for the plus one to cast and unbind and all that fun shit. Yep, yep, yep. That's that's the chicken. Yep, yep. And how I hate that chicken. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's pretty good, I hear. Um, so I try to take an early point lead. I try to stand on the middle objectives, try to box him out, reduce his scoring. I make his turn one only be a five-point turn, so he's not able to get onto any middle objective. So I'm starting up strong start by like five points going to the first turn. Yeah. Um, and I'm able to keep that lead going for a little while, but his shooting is just chipping me down. The whores are chipping me down. His spells are chipping me down just over weight of dice. Yeah. Two up saves can only do so much against such a weight of dice. Mm -hmm. um, and we get mm -hmm. down. So he starts making those points up. Round three, round four, going into the final round. I've and and by the way, too, just, just for the listeners, too, mm -hmm. because the, the pink whores, what, they're two shooting attack. The whores are two shooting attacks each, I believe. Something like that. Fours so that's, that's like 80, like or even if the blues are one, that's still 60 shots coming just from them. Mm -hmm. And then all the sky fires coming in, because I think he ran 12. Yes. So that'd be yes, like 24, 26 shots from there at D3 damage. This mm -hmm. is, we're getting close to 100 shots of dice going in just to be like, cool, can you roll ones? And you yeah. will eventually roll ones. Michael's holding on by the skin of his teeth here. Mm hmm. And you can, of course, you know, not that it's always the best use of them, you can destiny dice those shots to make them mm -hmm. kind of pinpoint effective. Yep. So that's, that's yeah. and, and that's five spells coming out for mm -hmm. mortal wounds. You could be mm -hmm. growing spawns. You could be doing all kinds of shit to you. Uh, no well, spawns. He didn't bring, yeah, he didn't bring the spawn. That's right. So, so he took the – did he take the more, the uh, the five up? Uh, no, he, he still took that lore just for the teleport. The teleport yeah. is the best spell in that spell lore. Damn right. Mm -hmm. Number one, he teleported mm -hmm. Kairos across the table. Mm -hmm. scoring battle tactics and he just sat in the back something on the spells for the rest of the game just being a pain in my ass fair enough yeah i'd do it <laughs> i'd do it oh, also yeah. the regular I... chicken you can spend a destiny dice to bring back a unit at half strength mm -hmm. so you kill that unit of the pink horrors that filled up the blues then boom there it is again mm -hmm. i uh ended up killing both horror squads and he brought both back at half strength it mm. was uh it was the turning of the tide when he did so um that but i look. managed one crucial error Mm -hmm. uh, going into my turn three, I did a battle tactic to have two units in his territory and outside nine. Okay. I planned on charging in my Morgasts, tagging his Zangor or Blue, uh, Brim Horrors, yep, so I could yep. use Power Through to move back 12 inches to score my tactic. That's smart. Catacost yes. being an absolute Chad, uh -huh. killed all of the Brim Horrors that I was tagging. Uh huh. So I had no targets for Power Through. So I failed oh. my target, my tactic, because I killed too many things. Oh, no. Well, <laughs> that's that from your own success. <laughs> yeah, hate yes. to see it. Yep, Catacross was minus one to hit. I gave him no bonuses, and he still found a way to uh, to just kill all of them. Uh, he did like twenty damage in one swing. Mm -hmm. like a hard stare. He, was. he needed more yep. bones for the codpiece embellishment. Yep. So the, the, he must the cod piece must have scared him off. I'm I'm not sure, but uh, <laughs> so I I failed my tactic, which brings the game to actually be super close. Uh -huh. We come down into turn five. He had top of five. He doubled me the turn earlier, and okay. I'm looking at the score. I have a tactic. I know I can guarantee score. I was able to injure all of his units, so I have a tactic to just kill a unit. I'm in combat with four pinks. I can kill them. Yeah. The problem is. I'm down five points, and I'm standing on his home objective, and there's mm -hmm. some Skyfires in the way, so I can't score it unless they're dead. Mm -hmm. So my tactic for turn five has to be I have to kill five Skyfires mm -hmm. with three more guests, and I have nothing else on the table. Four wounds each as well. That's that's a yep. pretty dense unit there. That's so, a four-up save. I think there was 18 wounds on the unit at the time I was going in, so I needed to get like Ew. six of these attacks through. He had no destiny dice, and Ew. I have nine oh, attacks yeah. that are damaged three. Okay. So I all out attack. I'm like, right, I can guarantee you lose by one point, but we're not here for that. We're here to go for the win. You got damn right. My attacks. We're hitting on twos. We're exploding sixes. 
I don't roll any sixes. So I miss ah. like one attack. Mm-hmm. We're only on threes because my unit's been flamed. This subfaction makes me minus one to wounds. Yeah. I roll five wounds. I instantly shake his hand on the spot. The game's there. I lose by five. In a hell of a blinder game, losing by five to Jeez. Caleb Walters in top table. Yeah. That, oh, that's epic. Wonderful they game. Do it. Yeah. Well, what a run, Michael. That's that's so fun. And and of course, like you get there, you know, even if it didn't go your way at the end, to have started, you know, kind of would like the foot back, you know, after that drive to get to that <laughs> point, to get in the top eight, you know, to have some pretty significant bosses in the way there, and, and Mike mm-hmm. and Tom, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yep, yep. And to, to have your consolation prize be a golden ticket, which is kind of what everyone's mm-hmm. dreaming about to go to the big tournament and play in For the sure. worlds. Yeah, man. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, the funniest part is, I don't know if people have been to Nova or not, but uh, at Nova, they do have these like the initial prizes that are like not based on your record or how you played. Mm-hmm. Um, so like, they have like best spouse, best Welshman, best Canadian. Yeah. Um, they always come up with a few of these. Uh, there was one that was made up before the like final day. Like these were made up probably on the first few days. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it was the I drove all night to be here award, nice. which I got called up for <laughs> nice. prior to coming up and getting nice. the uh runner-up award so i ended up getting called up for two things which was uh super funny to get called up for and then talk uh, about a way just to like kind of have a little swagger about how epic <laughs> it was because the whole con's like oh and you did it on no sleep yep. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah so there was uh so that was super cool and then uh yeah caleb was able would be getting the golden ticket um but since you already won at adepticon it would then fall to the runner-up which was myself so mm-hmm. I'll be getting to go to Atlanta to play in the World Championship, which is super cool. Very That's nice. Really man. I mean, I, I, yeah. you can't reveal your secrets. Obviously, you got time, but <laughs> like, are you thinking still OBR or is it up in the uh, air? You know, I mean, it's it, there's some FAQs and stuff that might change, but if everything sits as it is, it's probably just going to be Oscarch again. They're my my first love, my first joy, yeah. and nothing should really detract from it. The list might change, but. When the is it? Sure, will probably sure. stick around. The cod piece is definitely there to stay. Definitely. <laughs> and it goes hard. Very you know? nice. Sometimes too hard for that last game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those were impact hits. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when is the uh, the Atlanta World Championship this year? Um, I don't know off the top of my head. Or is I'd it have next to look year? it up. Yeah, uh, it's, 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 yeah. It is this year, but I'm not entirely is sure. Is it? I think it's this year. Maybe yeah. it's early next year. I think it's this year. I, I tell us in the comments. Like November or something. Yeah, so uh, tell us, tell us in the comments. It's the same weekend as the boys, but I don't know when that is either. So oh, that's that's going to be like late November, early December then if it's the same weekend as the boys. Okay. So okay. Uh, it'll be be around then. Okay. Lovely so, time uh, to be in Atlanta. You're telling me mm-hmm. all the tryhards are going to be gone from upstate New York, gone from Rochester. So, so if you want to win the boys, now's now's the time. <laughs> this is your chance. Yeah, Rocco, I mean... <laughs> time to bring that narrative game. You know, drive all the way up. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. That's like, uh, I just realized I'm uh, running a, an RTT the same weekend as Six Nations. So it's going to be. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> okay. So all of our competitive players are going to be gone. <laughs> <laughs> let's see what this yeah. meta is like when they're not I don't know. It, like, it's gonna be wild i think I it's gonna be a great time but all of tough rise. crowd is gone and none of the canadians are gonna be at at uh du bois because they're all in, in georgia what happens <laughs> what what's gonna go on man you know well, jordan won't be there carl carl has a golden ticket too right carl? uh maybe i don't know carl, I don't know if carl, yeah, carl definitely one. didn't didn't get it from Nova. He lost oh. his, like first four games. His yeah, first no, four games, he, he was getting Love him. whooped. Yeah. Uh, cool. uh, I know last year Basil was able to be the one that went to boys. He was actually uh, yes. like three points shy of being in the top eight. He was sitting at ninth, so he also almost made the top eight cut. Oh, yeah, so, I saw yeah. that. I saw that. He was running slaves this time, right? Mm-hmm. Was... Yep. And uh, I had to bring him his Bella court, so oh, that's uh, I'll funny. take 2% credit. There you go. There you uh, go. Love to see it. Love to see it. Basil's a wonderful player. Uh, it's good. <laughs> okay. Okay. But yeah. No. Um, any closing thoughts, Michael? Any 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 big takeaways from all of this? And we've got, we've gone through some very big broad strokes. Who mm-hmm. needs a ritual? <laughs> Prepare yourself for the day. Just give yourself a good old Midwest drive, and you're all set. That's all you a need. Little Midwest commute. You didn't even do a Midwest goodbye. This is just. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. So that I think has to be our official recommendation. So there you guys have it. Um, yeah. Always Strikes Last has uncovered the secret. Uh, two big takeaways from the episode that Michael has left us with. One, okay. charge people's carelessly placed terrain pieces for free tactics and more reliable yes. ones. That's easy. And also I, some I, thought about to bring them. And two, uh -huh, most uh -huh, importantly, uh -huh. the ultimate dark ritual is an all night drive to stare your <laughs> opponent in the face. Game Don't one out that. of an eight with a red eye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sleepless red eye. <laughs> uh huh. Ah, oh, we had real advice for the first one. Again, be safe. Please, please pull hey, over. Take your power take naps. A nap. <laughs> Yeah, Michael did the right thing. He knew to pull over. Don't don't die going to one of these. Yeah, yeah don't do that. That's a good. That's a good. That's a very good point. But as also, a joke, definitely be sleep the breath. As the joke. As the yeah, joke. Yeah, but you have to find that line because remember, if you die, you can't win because yeah, yep. not a posthumous tournament award that they've given. Ooh, I like that. Wow. If you die, so, you can't win. Mm. What you're saying <laughs> is get there early. <laughs> yep. Drink all the caffeine like the yeah. day earlier so that okay. you only get the hour of sleep to try and get some kind of pseudo uh, like that. pseudo sleep, sleep deprivation. We, we cannot that, in good conscience recommend you actually copy this, but 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 try to recreate it in the best of your ability. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that, that's true. Uh -huh. What we can do, though, is exalt Michael for having pulled it off. And, and thanks so much again for coming on the podcast. It's been, it's been a real pleasure yeah, to kind of yeah. run through this, this journey. It was, yeah, it was a pleasure man. just to, to be on and chat. It was good fun. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Absolutely, you made man. five new friends and then like oh. three or four enemies. I don't It was great. And took the <laughs> and best, best mic. mic. The most, yeah, it's all I needed. Oh. <laughs> so you, your best mic and now your best mic on the mic, too. Oh, yeah, like that. You doubled oh, up. baby. Love to oh, see God. it. You love to hear it even for the podcast listeners. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I feel like Rocco and I were almost always best miles, best Rocco. Yeah, no, it's, it's very true. rare. Yeah, it, then I gotta like, go by my my you know my first name being John. There's a shit ton of them, so you know. Sure. That's why I'm a John as well. I go by Jack, so we're in a secret. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ugh. So I think I think we've come to a good place, huh? Ooh, I think so. Is it? Um, I think it's I think it's time, uh, Michael. Uh, we we do this thing at the end of every episode where yeah we try to get the last word yeah mm -hmm. which leads to these stilted ways of speaking mm -hmm. <laughs> you just get, get your best shatner impersonation Let, let's hear something. <laughs> give, give just, me some you just, 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 just try, just try like just drug, oh wow it's crazy just try to like drag out the end of the sequel <laughs> oh, i don't know, don't yeah. know. when i think we know what the last word has to be is it cod what? piece oh <laughs> It's got to be cod piece. It's got to be impact hits from the cod piece, too. That's just, it, it, It's how you make the Ooh. best and appropriate joke appropriate here. That's where the you know? D3 is its own joke. Real quick, <laughs> thanks, everybody, for listening all the way to the end. Uh, please oh, like, God, yeah. comment, subscribe, share. Yeah, we have uh, a Patreon. Our, There's... Yeah, Patreon. Check out our website, alwaystrikeslast.com. Mm -hmm. We got yeah. links to all the episodes and merch and YouTube and all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Self promote. Sorry, we before I, we forget to do that, because we always forget yeah. to yeah spread, spread the good word there spread that good I, word i was doing good on that when you, you first had me come on officially and then all of a sudden it's very easy to lose because you got to remember to do it every time yeah i mean i feel like i'm at a slight disadvantage not knowing to promote the patreon so it doesn't let me get that last word you know it feels oh, very yeah. undercutting you know <laughs>